I don't know um, who is who. And that's a difficult situation for me because my brother-in-law did work for Capital Group and um, I know Theresa May's husband worked at Capital Group with my brother-in-law. Uh, he knew him. And I do know the English economy is in trouble. And I don't think that has anything to do with Capital Group at all. And it doesn't have to do with my brother-in-law. And my brother-in-law is the reason that I know that uh, VMware does its own network address trans translation. And so I figured it had a D DHCP server, and it does, built into it. And um, because someone... I thought they were socially engineering me by tricking me into bridging my network connection um, and fr from VMware. And um, and then my brother-in-law is who caught it. So he actually, well, he, he told me that. And that's how, I, that's how I figured out the guy was hacking me or trying to hack me. Or he was, a group, he was part of a group of people that were teaching me about hacking by hacking me. And so um, I'm, my brother-in-law, I'm not mad at him at all. And this guy that works for Capital Group, him and I spent a lot of time talking about blockchain and um, talking about all sorts of computer stuff. And so um, I'm not I'm not mad at Capital Group. It's I I, I would I was saying the English economy is in trouble, and I think everyone knows that. And I think one of the reasons they're in so much trouble is because they all want to get in on the big short. They all think that the secret to life is shorting Microsoft when they don't understand GUIs. That suddenly more people are finding exploits for Linux than anything. And Microsoft is getting very hard to exploit. And so it's like there, there's this assumption that if a company's been bad for security at one point, it always will be. But it's like, all right, everyone had Microsoft forever. So the whole the power of the world's hackers were attacking this one operating system, and now Microsoft's actually getting pretty good at security. So um, I think there are a lot of people that are in trouble from an economics perspective right now. A lot of people, and that's why there are so many shorts. But the problem is when you short at the wrong time, all you're doing is Oh, oh, you want your economy to go that high? Well, it's easier if, if we'll let you build it here, and then I'll come in, and then you can build it again. And that's that's kind of what's happening. A, a lot of people have built our economy for us, and it kind of pisses them off. But I said it a long time ago, I don't believe in shorting. And um, I don't know, I think a lot of English bankers are in trouble. Sorry. It, but it has nothing to do with my brother-in-law.